Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. Wanted to show you guys some progress. Uh, I mean, some, some not progress. I mean, like things are actually coming apart instead of coming together, but check it out. Look what I have here. I actually have the, uh, the steering wheel that I mentioned earlier. And the other one is, uh, one of these guys. I know it also says 83. I think they probably offered these in 83, but uh, I uh, I like this style better. And also it is uh, much bigger than the uh, eeny beeny little wheel that I have in this car right now. Um, you know, it, it, just, it, it, it just doesn't look right to me. I, I'd much prefer this. And also I repaired the contact on the back boop, 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 so that I don't have to have the weird side button uh, horn anymore. I threw that button the heck out. I did not like that thing. So there's that. Here are the front door speakers that I plan on replacing. I already have like the weird plastic bits that were in the door. Um, I think the other one is still, yeah, it's like just covered up with a piece of plastic on it roughly cut. It just doesn't look good to me. So, uh, I have a, uh, a radio that should fit. Um, haven't tested it. No idea if this thing is functional or not. Fuse is good in it. I've I opened up the inside. I didn't see any capacitors leaking or anything like that. Big old box of parts. Whole inside's taken apart. And once the dash is kind of disassembled. I, well, the, the dash is mostly disassembled here. There's really not much else to disassemble here. I just need to kind of like move things out of the way. I need to run to Harbor Freight really quick so that I can get a 27 millimeter deep well so that I can yoink that and uh, start fitting the new wheel and trying to figure out what sort of contacts I need in order to make the horn work without having to do some kind of weird hack job to it. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I got dash pads up here, kickboards up there. I'm gonna remove the seats, the back seats, the carpet, and uh, see if we can kind of get a survey on a lay, kind of get a, a lay of the land on the structural integrity of the floor pans here. Uh, so once I get all that done, I will be sure to, uh, bring you guys back and show you what I find. Didn't begin with a panic quarantine run to Harbor Freight. Uh, <laughs> could we even really, like, uh, call this, uh, Volvo mechanicing? Volvo wrenching? Alright, so here's just a little bit of what I have here. A U-clip and screw assortment. Uh, you know, just with some spring some spring metal and uh, some screws that I can use to uh, attach various bits that are missing screws inside of here, which very many of them are. Nice, long quarter inch drive impact. I'll go with my impact driver here. Which we will use to remove the steering wheel, which in order to do that, didn't know this, got a lot of uh, lot of uh contradictory information here but oh come on i hate that you have to like fucking do something yeah okay let me go ahead and get these out of the packaging i'm gonna show you which one to you all right and so what we will do then is to get that out we'll attach our impact driver to this dude. Okay. It's on there pretty good. Get that on there. Might not even need to use the extension for this one, but I will need to use the extension uh, for the other one because the deep socket is not long enough, I think, to reach into. Because you see, see how small of an opening they give you here? to do like literally everything. Yeah, I think that's why this design might've been ditched, but either way, let's get this off and see if we can't yank this wheel off and uh, get the new one installed. All right, and then as straight as possible, just kind of hang it from, you know, we just gotta eyeball it. It's right around there. 
whole thing goes on. Just gotta kinda get it on there as straight as you can. There you go. Give it a little, oh, hang on. I don't quite like that very much. And give it a little bit of a adjustment here. Hang on. Let's see if I can't get that to, to seat settle. Ooh. All right. Looks like that down there should work, but I might have a problem with the fact that there's no contact okay so hang on i'm seeing a problem here pull this off again now if i'm not mistaken isn't there supposed to be some type of like contact panel back here that the that's because i'm just not sure there's got to. i'm pretty sure that there's something that goes here that that contact right there should come into contact with and plugs in somewhere over here so know that that's that's the horn and that's just a, a random ground but here this is the actual horn power so if i'm that's got a little spring right there okay so i think that there is another part here that i need before I, uh, before I install this, I think I need to do a little bit more, uh, research here. What, is, what am I missing here? Uh, guys, I don't really know. So, see how much play is in this one? Just kind of, uh, this one is like really solid. Not solid, much more solid. I don't know. down in here, huh? <laughs> what the what is going on here? What the heck is that? Oh my god. Ugh. Eh, it keeps getting nastier outside. Well, let's uh, continue our little disassembly quest here. Well, so much for uh, installing all of this back uh, like I wanted to. Uh, first off, I don't know what the hell happened down here. Uh, there's the original contact for the uh, contact harness for the uh, stereo, and it's just hacked to bits. She's just hacked to frickin' bits, baby. Um, yeah, need to follow some of them. Ooh, ooh. Follow some of these trace wires back through. Figure out what's connected to what. I'm guessing that's a speaker wire right there. Got some speaker wires here. Uh, I think we have some hanging out back there. I need to figure out where they run. But uh, yeah, I guess that would involve removing more of the interior, which I'm not really all that uh, apt to doing right now. Also, what the hell is this? Like, I pulled off this side thing right here and nearly freaking vomited because I don't know what the hell this is right here. Uh, I think that's air conditioning. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's gotta go. Um, I don't want that in here still. I don't think it's leaking anything. But it definitely doesn't look great. Um, yeah, there's that. And there's more. Okay. Also, because the, uh, the mounting plates and the grills for the speakers haven't arrived yet, I can't really install those. And so, uh, yeah, can't really install this steering wheel because I need the contact plate that's back there and I can't install the stereo until I rewire literally all four speakers. So I guess there's only one thing uh, to do at a moment like this.